you always know there's going to be ups and downs in the season. You just got to continue building to go up. So that's the thing we tried to press on all those guys who are playing, you know. We got to make sure that everybody stays positive and not get down on themselves and get down on the team. Needing to snap a three-game losing skid, your Buffaloes came home to Folsom Field, and head coach Dan Hawkins looked to a very unlikely hero in CU's seventh game of the season. The Wildcats opened up the scoring on their first drive with a field goal after a controversial fumble was reversed in K-State's favor, and the visitors took a 3-0 lead. Rodney Stewart got the Buffs going on their first offensive snap, taking the ball 18 yards down the home team sideline for a first down. Four plays later, Stewart appeared to have another big gainer, but 22 yards downfield, he had the ball stripped, and the Wildcats recovered. They converted eight plays later, again with a Brooks-Rossman field goal, and Kansas State led 6-0 halfway through the first quarter. And that's when the red shirt came off freshman quarterback Tyler Hansen. Out of the shotgun flank either side by a running back. Quarterback drop play runs off the right side. He's got some room. He dives forward across the 40 yard line and the freshman picks up a first down. A gain of 14 yards and a new set of downs for Colorado with 59 seconds to play in quarter number one. Hansen was a player that no one had on their depth chart. Yet he came in to end the first quarter with a double-digit scramble and began the second quarter with a huge 24-yard run to spark the Buffalo offense. Hansen would add a 12-yard gain on the drive, eventually getting the ball down to the four-yard line and then handing it off to fellow true freshman Speedy Stewart. Left, hand off to Speedy, left side, bends the corner, gets a block, walks in, touchdown, touchdown Colorado! From four yards out with 12.25 to play in the opening quarter here in Boulder, we're tied up at six between the Buffaloes and the Wildcats. And that's the old speedster's first touchdown. Late in the half, Hansen went back to work, this time using his arm and finding a variety of Buffalo targets. Junior tight end Ryer Gear caught one ball for 13 yards. And senior Patrick Williams hauled in another 13-yarder to take the buffs just outside the red zone. On the very next play, Hansen found sophomore Scotty McKnight. Takes a snap, pump fix, now throws it down the left side. Scotty McKnight, end zone, touchdown! Touchdown, Colorado! Tyler Hansen, welcome to college football at Folsom Field. And the Buffs are on top, 13-6 over Kansas State. 6-19 to play in the second quarter. How about that? Now up 14-6, the Colorado defense buckled down. Senior DJ Dykes came up from his safety position to sack Kansas State quarterback Josh Freeman on the Wildcats' next possession. Hansen and Stewart took turns picking up first downs to end the half, but were unable to accumulate any more points. The freshman duo was solidifying the CU running attack and forcing the Wildcats to contend with a threat they hadn't planned for. Kansas State came out in the second half and scored on their first possession with a Josh Freeman run right up the middle. With a one-point lead, the Buffs were now in a position to control the ball and work the clock. Speedy took the ball throughout much of the third quarter and wore down the Wildcat defense. He consistently racked up first downs and kept the ball away from the K-State offense. Hansen hit Barons down the CU sideline to end the third. A catch the young fullback had to tiptoe the paint to make. Lost in the stats of the rushing attack was the solid effort put forth by the Colorado defense. Holding on to the one-point lead, CU didn't give Freeman and the Wildcats any room to challenge the end zone. Late in the fourth, senior Brad Jones forced a fumble just as the Cats were getting into Colorado territory to stifle yet another drive. Cody Hawkins came in late in the game on a crucial third and 15 play and hit Josh Smith for 22 yards and a first down to continue a drive that would eat up all but one minute of the game. The defense held, and Captain Ryan Walters knocked down the final attempt to preserve the one-point victory, 14-13. The one-point lead CU protected for over 25 minutes was the longest in 72 seasons that the Buffs had to hang on to a one- or two-point lead. And it was also the longest in the NCAA this season. 
Rodney Stewart had another fabulous game on the ground. He gained 141 yards on 29 carries and scored his first collegiate touchdown. But the story was Tyler Hansen, who came out of nowhere to rush 19 times for 86 yards and complete 50% of his passes for 71 yards and a touchdown.